I'm going to walk through Freed Code Camp's new responsive web design's second project, Learn Basic CSS by Building a Cafe Menus, uh, 11th through 20th steps. Okay, so we're going to learn about the style tag. So um, to change how this looks, um, because this is really basic, um, we can use um, something called CSS. And one way we can do that is put it in um, Cascading Style Sheet is what it stands for. We'll learn about it a little bit more later, but first we're just going to add that style tag. So the way that um, you style um, text is you choose who, what it's going to affect. So the most basic way to do this is just an HTML element. So let's say in this example, we want this to affect every header one tag and we want it to be centered. So we're going to, this is the element name. So we're going to, we're going to put H1 like that. Then we're going to go put a curly brace and then a closing curly brace at the end. And then here we're going to do the property in this case, text, a line, and then we want to center it. And now H1 is centered. Just This is CSS, it just changes how everything looks. It's a really basic example, but it's um, pretty helpful. So next, um, we're gonna do the same thing um, for header two, um, and also for paragraphs. So I'm just gonna copy this. So there is a more efficient way to do this and we're gonna oops, learn about it in one second, but um, this is one way that you could just center everything is just by putting all those element names like that. But an actual easier way is, see, this is selector one, selector two, um, and we can just um, put a comma and between these, and it'll affect H2 now. Um, or if I, there we go, H2, and then comma paragraph. Now all of these are centered just the same way. Okay, next, um, we'll learn about a different, um, using a different file. So now we have two files. We have index.html, and we also have this style.css, um, or styles with an S, sorry. Um, and so these are two different files, and we're going to link them together soon. But um, so the first thing that we're going to do is just do the same, put the same um, CSS um, in this styles.css file. Um, and so when you have a lot of different styles, it's really, you really should pretty much always use a separate file um, for your CSS. And so we're gonna learn how to link the index.html and the styles.css files together in just one second. So now that we have that new sheet, we can just delete this style and the HTML. It's gonna go back to normal for just a second until we link them but we're gonna link them right here um, with a self-closing link attribute. So we're gonna link and the um, relationship is style sheet and the type is text slash CSS. And then to make it actually work, we need a href and then styles so we, that's where we put the file name. So ours, in this case, styles.css. Um, that's just how we're gonna link it. Um, there we go, yeah. So now we have that whole new style sheet. Um, so next we're gonna learn about something um, that's gonna help our website to look good on mobile devices. So right now on a big screen, this looks fine, um, but we just wanna make sure that it's gonna look good on a mobile device as well, um, because a lot of people use their phones and we want our page to look good on it. Um, and so, um, we just got to add this um, meta tag with the name to viewpoint uh, viewport content width equals device da dash width comma initial scale 1.0. Um, so you just want to add that to every site you have, um, every all your HTML inside the head, um, just so that um, your site looks good on mobile. So next, we're going to add another um, uh, some more CSS, and so. Um, usually a best practice is just um, to kind of lay out your CSS in order. And uh, I like to leave a, a, a line break in between. So just an empty line in between different selectors. And here we wanna, I like to just, uh, um, the CSS the way it goes. So if the body comes first, the body will mention the body, that CSS before we talk about H1, which comes after. So since the body tag comes first, it's gonna go ahead in the CSS. 
Um, so just to make everything a little bit easier to find uh, when we come back to this later, if you're actually making your own site. So we're gonna make everything brown and we're gonna add that uh, semicolon at the end. It does look a little funny. We're gonna fix that in one second. So um, you can actually, there's a bunch of different colors. You can look up a list of them. Um, usually I don't use these and we'll, we'll learn later, I'm sure of um, how to choose colors that instead of just typing it out, um, there's different ways to do it. But another way is just to, um, oops, sorry, Burley Wood. Um, that's the name of the color. That's just another way that we can set the color. Um, yeah. 